Germany has confirmed intentions to equip Ukraine with martyr infantry fighting vehicles, bolstering military help for Kyiv's defense against Russian forces. This declaration occurred on the same day as the U.S. pledged to send Bradley fighting vehicles after France's commitment the day before to send the AMX-10RC combat vehicles. It is reported that Germany would send the martyr that are operational, but it is not specified how many vehicles this would be. However, the German government spokesperson, Stefan Hebestreit, later indicated that roughly 40 martyrs will be supplied, or enough to complete a battalion. Germany once fielded hundreds of martyrs, but they have been gradually phased out in favor of newer Pumas acquired to replace them. So, what is martyr and how will it be effective to be utilized on the ground in Ukraine? The Ukrainian Army's mechanized infantry is getting a significant upgrade with the addition of 30-ton tracked martyr vehicles equipped with steel armor. The Martyr IFV, which will be paired with M2 Bradley IFVs from the U.S., offers the Army the necessary mobility, protection, and firepower to launch a major offensive in 2023. The Martyr's origins stem from World War II, when the German Army learned that having a high number of tanks without enough infantry could break enemy lines but not secure conquered territory when confronted with an excess of Soviet troops. The German Martyr entered service in 1971 and has undergone continual upgrades since. During the Cold War, the deployment of Martyrs were only for peacekeeping exercises, but they effectively demonstrated the capability and determination of Germany and its NATO allies to defend themselves. Despite its age, the Martyr remains a top IFV for its balance of speed, protection, firepower, and capacity. It also remains in service until today, having been successful in battles in Afghanistan's Kunduz and mazar e sharif areas as part of the Quick Reaction Force. When NATO-led Kosovo force entered the former Yugoslavia on June 12, 1999, the Martyr Infantry Vehicle was used alongside the Leopard 2 tank and the Lux Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle. Afterward, the Martyr was mainly used for security purposes, such as guarding checkpoints and conducting area surveillance. Its mobility in the rugged Balkans terrain, automatic cannon for security and surveillance, and ability to transport security forces and equipment made it a valuable asset. It also performed duties such as convoy and patrol escorts. The German contingent deployed the first Martyr 1F5A1 vehicles in Afghanistan as part of the International Security Assistance Force at the end of 2007, with up to 35 Martyr vehicles deployed in Mazari, Sharif, and Kunduz to support the Quick Reaction Force. These proved Martyr to be highly effective in its role. The Martyr is a reliable vehicle, especially when compared to newer and less developed choices such as the Puma IFV, after all 18 Pumas participating in a NATO rehearsal failed simultaneously, the German military suspended the procurement of hundreds of Pumas and replaced them with older martyrs. The Martyr is powered by a 600-horsepower six-cylinder liquid-cooled diesel engine from MTU-MB 833EA500 and a four-speed HASFWL194 planetary transmission with four forward and two reversed gears, as well as an integrated steering and braking system. To provide excellent mobility, the vehicle has significantly upgraded suspension, including strength and torsion bars, a hydraulic duplex braking system, and revised gear ratios for the lateral final drives. Each side's torsion bar suspension features six dual rubber-tired road wheels, with the drive sprocket in front and the idler in back, as well as three track return rollers. Hydraulic shock absorbers are installed at the first, second, fifth, and sixth road wheel stations. The Martyr can reach a maximum road speed of 40 miles per hour while transporting three crew and six infantry, matching the speed of the German Army's Leopard tanks. Moreover, it has a maximum cruising range of 310 miles. The various models weigh between 28 to 37 tons, can reach speeds of up to 47 miles per hour, have a range of 320 miles, and require a crew of three but can transport six soldiers. With such mobility, the Martyr can drop off infantry in combat and provide support with its cannon fire and missiles. It is also capable of navigating through deep water. 
It can ford to a depth of 5 feet without preparation or to 8 feet with a kit, and can navigate a gradient of 60% as well as side slopes of 30%. It can also climb a vertical obstacle of 6 feet and cross a trench of 8 feet maximum. The vehicle features a primary 20mm Rheinmetall MK20 R202 automatic can, which is mounted externally and has an elevation range of plus 65 degrees, depression range of minus 17 degrees, and complete 360 degrees turret movement. The cannon fires 1,000 rounds per minute and has a range of 2,734 yards for land targets and 1,600 yards for air targets. The cannon is gas-powered and has a floating base, which lowers recoil while increasing accuracy, firepower, dependability, and longevity. The Marger additionally features a 762mm coaxial machine gun and two banks of 76mm smoke grenade dischargers in addition to the main armament. Its secondary machine guns can fire up to 5,000 rounds. In addition, while the incoming U.S. Bradley is equipped with TAU missiles and the French AMX-10 has a 105mm gun, the Martyrs are fitted with a Milan anti-tank missile launcher using line-of-sight guidance. The commander controls a Milan anti-tank guided missile launcher on the right side of the turret, which has one missile ready to shoot and six more within the vehicle. The newest Milan missile variant has a maximum range of 3,280 yards, with most models effective up to 2,187 yards. In terms of crew protection, the Martyr has a solid steel hull that offers protection against small arms fire and shrapnel, with the front of the vehicle fully shielded against 20mm armor-piercing discarding Sabot projectiles. The Martyr is equipped with an upgraded armor package that provides protection against 30mm cannon rounds. This package includes frontal armor on the hull, additional armor plates on the front of the turret and both sides, spaced armor on the roof to disrupt top attack bomblets, and extra armor on the rear door with a storage compartment. The six infantry soldiers are seated in the rear of the hull, three on each side facing outward, with one additional seat available at the rear. The soldiers can get in and out of the vehicle through a power-operated ramp at the back of the hull that opens downward. New storage boxes are also placed along the sides of the upper part of the hull. Beginning in 1969, Rheinmetall developed approximately 2,000 martyrs. The German army still has over 300 martyrs and they continue to use them due to issues with the new Pumas. Many martyrs are stored in Germany. Soon after Russia launched its attack on Ukraine in February, Ukrainian authorities began conducting investigations. The Ukrainian military was, and still is, severely lacking in IFVs. Each of their 24 mechanized brigades requires at least 100 combat vehicles, but their pre-war stock only had a thousand mostly outdated Soviet BMP-1s that are similarly aged to the Martyrs. However, they offer less protection and are equipped with a low-power cannon that many consider ineffective in intense combat. Therefore, the Martyr is a right choice of top-notch weapon system to be operated in Ukraine, combining excellent tactical mobility and powerful firepower with the ability to carry soldiers rapidly and securely in high-threat areas of operations. It is important to note that Ukraine has persistently requested stronger weapons to enable offensive actions against Russia. However, Western countries initially hesitated to send these weapons due to concerns of becoming engaged in the conflict or provoking Russia. As the situation has already worsened and Russian aggression has increased, allies have become more willing to provide Ukraine with the weapons they need. Eventually, Ukraine has gained support, and Western nations have increased the types of weapons they are supplying, including Germany. Besides the martyrs, Germany has also stated that it will deliver a cutting-edge Patriot missile air defense system to Ukraine, following the lead of the U.S.